So this is about data and visualization. And given that we have here um, a plain cloud of incredible high mass density <laughs> superimposed on this location, um, I have two questions I want to put to you. And one of them has to do with the origins of what we call data, what we think of as data. Where did the idea of data come from? And the other is about the role of visualization in scientific discovery. So for each question, I have just a couple of examples. But my goal here is not to give any kind of a presentation, but to ask you if you can think of any exemplars in these categories um, that you would be willing to share uh, with me, either by email or in some other way. So, um, let me put it boldly. When was the idea of data invented? Can we think of it? Um, I, I, don't, I don't mean you're the first use of data, but rather some salient examples in history um, that we could think of as a, a case where numbers occasion the idea that if we think about how to organize them, uh, maybe it could lead to some interesting conclusion. So um, here are just a couple of examples that I thought of early uses of data. So the development of star catalogs um, by Ty Tycho Brahe and others um, was used by Kepler to develop his planetary laws, questions about the shape of the Earth, other things in um, 16th, 17th century astronomy. Um, John Arbuthnot um, tabulated this ratio of male to female births in a 150 year period in the UK and found that in every single year there were more males born than females by a ratio of about 0.51. He used that, he calculated the p value one half to the 150th power gave an incredibly small number, the first significance test, and he used that as an argument for divine providence. Um, Galton's collection of data on um, heights of parents and children um, occasioned the discovery of regression and correlation. So these are a few things that I've thought of. What things can you think of that might be interesting examples of early uses of the idea of data. So that's my first question. Second question, um, when in the history of science, and I'm not talking about old history necessarily, but even modern day history, and I actually know more about the past than I do about the present, um, when can we say that some discovery was made because of visualization that might not have occurred otherwise. So again, I have a couple of examples here. Um, Snow's uh, discovery of cholera um, as a waterborne disease. Um, uh, Galton's, another of Galton's discovery that um, uh, weather patterns in the northern hemisphere have an anticyclonic pattern of pressure uh, over area. And that's mirrored by the reverse pattern in the, um, in the southern hemisphere. Um, the development, the, the discovery of sunspot cycles by Maunder uh, with what he called the butterfly diagram and the Hurstbrun-Russell diagram, um, uh, leading to the classification of stars by their uh, color and luminosity. So these are just a few examples of what else? When recently or in the past have people used visualization to make some scientific discovery that might not have occurred otherwise? OK, so those are my two questions. And that's all. Um, you could, if you would like, send me an email, friendly at your view, um, some idea or reference. Um, I'll track it down. Uh, and why you think it's of interest. Um, so why am I asking? Um, you know, I have a website. I've been studying the history of data visualization for a while. But recently it occurred to me that those two questions would be another interesting way of organizing the history of what we've done 
and how we can go forward. So thank you very much for your